Okay, I'm going to start the uh, 6000G centrifuge. Uh, this is our variable speed controller. Uh, turn it on, let everything come up and uh, everything load in it for a second. Um, looks good. I'm going to hit this on button. The centrifuge will speed up. You can see it's coming up to speed. There it is. I'm going to go wide. Let's see if I can get it in there. And that is, uh, Coming along at uh, six six thousand G's. Zoom in a little bit on that. You can see the heater is on and the heat is coming up. Slowly, it takes a little while for everything to get equalized. Steve at Filter Max. We've been uh, running our centrifuge all day. There's our centrifuge controller. Um, it's going to cycle down in about eight seconds for the um, dump where it dumps the bowl. In two, one, there you go. The heater's shut off. Now it's on the four minute countdown. Let's see if we can get a picture of the centrifuge. Let's see if I can make this any wider. You can see it. There it is. Certainly it'll take a long time to spin down. It takes a full minute, two, two minutes to uh, stop. Uh, we'll swing back over here to the controller. You can see that it goes through it, the cycle. It's going through the dump right now. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But uh, the heater shut down, the motor shut down. The uh, two inputs down there at the bottom, the one on the left controls the um, that controls the motor speed, and the one on the right that controls um, that's a flow sensor. If there's inadequate flow, it bypasses the heater, turns the heater down. Uh, got another minute here, minute and six, five seconds, and uh, then it will kick back on, and the whole process will start all over again. Zipping around here. Why it has so much trouble zooming out? That's the P trap, and it goes down. Um, it blocks off the the gas flow, you know, the ventilated part. Like it blocks it off so that it goes out the other other hole. It's got a 45 degree on it. Close down that hole, right into that tank. This over here is our sludge drain. And you notice it's got a, a soft rubber connector. You never make any hard connections to a centrifuge. 
Um, that soft rubber goes to that pipe, drains into our waste tank, and this right here is our steam vent. Actually goes outside. You may be able to see the steam. I don't know if you can see this or not. All the steam being blown out by that vent. I see a little bit of it. All right here you can see in front of the hose where the hose actually has enough to blow particles up to the roof. So it's, it's a good strong, when it vents, it, it's got a good strong flow.